guys, Miss Perkins here. Today we're going to be talking about telling time. And this is going to be the first part. And it's going to be able to tell time to the hour and the half hour. Now, I know that before we left for this distance learning adventure, we did time already. But we didn't really get to finish it. And so I want to make sure that we can go back to make sure that you fully understand time because this is a skill that you're going to be able to use the rest of your life. So it's super important that you know how to tell time to the hour and into the half hour, which is what we teach you in first grade. So this is the criteria for telling time, which is kind of like the steps or like the question that we ask ourselves. So we first have to look at the short hour hand. We have to say the number that that hand, the short hour hand, is pointing to. If it's in between two numbers, then we say the number before it hits the wall, which we're going to talk about that. Some of you might remember it. After we look at the short hour hand, then we're going to look at the long minute hand. If the minute hand points to the 12, we're going to say o'clock, and we're going to write 0, 0. If the minute hand points to the 6, we're going to say 30, and then we're going to write 30. Because remember, the minute hand uses secret numbers. Remember, they're secret agents. So, let's get started with this one. First, we're going to look at the short hour hand. So, this right here is the hour hand. Remember, hour hand for time is with an H. So, this is an hour hand. The hour hand is pointing to the 1. So, we are going to write 1 in the digital clock. This is where we write the hour. This is where we write the minute. So, we're just going to write 1 in this box here. Now, looking at the long minute hand, it's pointing to the 12. But remember, the minute hand uses secret numbers because remember, the minute hand is secret agent. So it's going to use different numbers. So this 12, whenever we see the minute hand pointing to the 12, we know that it's O, O, that double zero or zero, zero. Because we know that it's going to use those secret numbers. And the secret number that the minute hand uses for a 12 is zero, zero. So I'm going to write zero, zero. So what time does this clock show? One o'clock. Whenever you see double zero, you don't say zero, zero. You say o'clock. So it's one o'clock. Let's move on to this one. Now, looking at this, this is the short hour hand. And this is going to be the long minute hand. We know that we look at the hour hand first because that's what comes first in the digital clock. And then we'll look at the minute hand. So looking at this, we see that the hour hand is in between two numbers. Well, how do we know which number it is? Hmm. Now there's a few ways that I taught you guys before we left about how you can figure it out. I'm going to remind you of these ways and you use whichever one helps you. First, I told you that there's a nursery rhyme called Hickory Dickory Dock. And so we can use that nursery rhyme to help us. And we're going to pretend that we're a mouse. So you can kind of put your finger on the line. I'm going to draw a line going around to where you can kind of show how you need to go. So you're going to sing the nursery rhyme as you go. And this right here is the wall. So let's go around. Ready? Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Boom! It hits the wall and it bounces back to the one. So we know that it is one for the hour hand. Now what is another way that we can do it? Well, we know that this section, we know that this section right here is the ones section. Okay, so this is a section that as long as the hour hand is in this section, in this part, it's still one o'clock for the hour hand. So that lets us know that it is one o'clock. Now, let's look at the minute hand. So now we're going to look at the minute hand. The long minute hand is pointing to the six. Well, remember the minute hand is a secret agent. It uses different numbers. So we know that 12 was zero, zero. 
was the secret numbers. And it goes by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. And then it goes back to the zero, zero. So we know that the long man hands point to the six. So we know that it is one and then 30. So the man hand says 30. It does not use the six, it uses a secret number because it's a secret agent. So this analog clock shows 130 for the digital clock. Remember the analog clock, you have to figure it out. So to figure out what time it is, the digital clock just tells you like how we had to write at the bottom here. Now, let's move on. Let's look at this one. What time does this clock show? If you would like, this would be a great time for you to pause the video to for you to try to figure out what time this is before I go over it. You can pause it now if you would like. All right, guys, let's continue. Now let's look at this to see if you got the right answer. So looking at this, we know first thing we do is we look at the short hour hand. The hour hand is in between the five and the six. Now, one thing that you can ask yourself is, it has it gotten to the six yet? No, it has not, which means that it is still in the five space, which is why whenever the mouse goes around the clock and it hits that wall, it's going to bounce back to the five. So that's how we know that for the hour hand for a digital clock, it is five. Now, let's look at the minute hand. This is the long minute hand. So we know that looking at this, the minute hand is a secret agent. So we know that it uses different numbers. It uses secret numbers. So again, we knew that the 12 was zero, zero. So that means we know that if it goes by fives, it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We know that the secret number for the minute hand for six is 30. So this is where the minute hand goes. So it's 530. All right, guys. I hope you got this answer correct. If you did, I want you to give yourself a round of applause. Now we're going to do one more. Looking at this. Again, if you would like to, you can pause it here to try this one on your own. You can pause it now. All right, guys, let's see if you got it correct. First, we're going to look at the short hour hand. So looking at the short hour hand, it's in between the 9 and the 10. Hmm. So since it's in between the 9 and the 10, we can ask ourselves, has it gotten to the 10 yet? No, it hasn't. It's still in the nines space. This right here is the nines space. So we know that it is nine o'clock, which is again the reason why the mouse goes around the clock, it hits that wall and it goes back. It bounces back and it hits the nine. So that's how we know that it is nine o'clock for the hour for the digital clock. Now we're gonna look at the short, I'm sorry, the long, minute hand. Now it's pointing to the six. Well, again, just like how we're talking about, we know that the 12 is that zero, zero. So we come by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the six for the minute hand is 30 because we know that it uses secret numbers because it's a secret agent. So this time shows 930. All right, guys, I want you to give yourself a big old pat on the back if you got that one correct. Great job, guys. That is it for this video. See you at the next one.